Hello, welcome back to another episode of Multi Bot Madness, where we have been doing a little bit of infrastructure stuff in between episodes. Upgraded this guy to a reinforced tier, and we are. Oh, we are inputting. Cool, cool. A little bit concerned for a second. Um, upgraded a couple of these to reinforced tier, and some of them have org ones, but I ran out of ran out of the redstone stuff. Oof. Um, and you can see I've been running higher tier cables. Um, had to do this. So I started trying to make uh, these things. Um, and they need, in the basic assembly machine, 4,000. I've taken, actually I could have kept the old cables, but I had to replace the input hatch because the original one would only do 2,000. Um, whereas the new one does 8,000. Um, so yeah, I actually probably didn't need to run these cables. Well, there's and yes I did because they only transferred 2,000. Um, we also now have a pulverizer and a redstone furnace. Just getting ready for some of the automation to be set up. Um, the only other thing, oh I got rid of the empower from over there. We'll set him back up when we need him, which may or may not be soon. I'm not sure. But over here, I whipped up the painting machine. And we had a capacitor there, and you can see he's got a global level of 3.7, but a painter level of 4.25, so this guy should go pretty fast now. That should be kind of cool. And we're running all these cables along here. Um, the actual only things that are old... Um, immersive engineering power are running is... Actually, none of this is connected anymore. So we don't need that. Oh, all it's hooked up to is like our coal coke oven and our uh, blast furnace. So I'll just leave that for now. Um, and the rest of the stuff all hooked up with this power. So he's run this guy's running constantly. This guy's running constantly. We should be starting to fill up on diesel. We are. Are we starting to back stuff? Not yet. Not yet. Might be sitting in the pipes. Yeah. And... I guess yeah, these guys are just using it faster than uh, faster than he's making it, and ran the new cables up here as well. So that's pretty sweet. I mean, yeah, with our painter, we can now. I thought it doesn't show us. Um, Enderio con conduit facade. Ooh, hardened conduit facade. Resists breaking and explosions. Ah. Um, all we want is this. These things, I don't know if I've actually got any in the system. We get a bunch. Uh, we can do things like... Oops, quest. Um, if we grab some treated wood. Now we'll come over here and we'll say, paint stuff like treated wood. Let's do half. Oh, and then we can come up here. And now, you'd never even know those cables were there. And that is just lovely. Oh, that's so good. And yeah, probably do the same sort of thing with bricks for the wall, and maybe we can run our cables up along the wall instead of like on the outside like they are. But uh, that's probably just a, a task for in between episodes, to be honest. Oh, wait, no, we can tidy this up too. Should most definitely do that. Yeah, I mean, looks a little bit odd, but definitely better. Definitely better. A lot less ugly. Um, we can't do that with this, but Applied Logistics has their own facades, which are actually easier to make. But cool. Cool. Ah, that's what I was getting these circuits for. Because these are used for making ME interfaces, uh, which we're going to be using, like, checking on top of these machines, and then we can, like, automatically say that ore that goes into the system um, gets put into the pulverizer, and then dusts that come out of the pulverizer go into the redstone furnace. I think that's going to be cool. Yeah. So I'll carry on doing a little bit of that, getting some stuff sorted, trying to get some of these crafted. Might be able to craft a couple actually. Um, if we chuck these in here and ask for facades, can we get 10? Not facades, those things. 
All we're missing is 28 aluminum plates. Which, not an issue. We can do that, then we can get 10 interfaces and begin automating some stuff. And then I want to look into some blood magic stuff, because we actually have the stuff for this too. So that'll be kind of cool. These, those look like plates. Oh, and this guy runs on that power as well. Oh, and the squeezer, but we haven't used them for a while, so... Yeah. Nice. Right, and one thing I would like to do, and that's interesting. It must be what that guy's set on. Um, one thing I want to do is set up an excavator to mine up iron, because I constantly seem to be running out of iron. Looks like we also get a little bit of nickel and a little bit of tin. And there's more oil in this chunk, which is kind of cool. It's right beside that. But yeah, I want to make an excavator. And in this pack, it seems like the, uh, the mineral deposits that you can mine up are unlimited. So this is kind of where the diggy bit goes. See where the chunk borders are. Right about there. So if we put that there. Cool, we definitely want this in the chunk. Um, I mean like here. Within the chunk, perfect. Um, and then I've just got the bits and pieces needed. Not there, uh, to assemble this guy. It's assembled. Ah, now the first time I actually assembled one of these, I didn't realize, what did I do? I did something silly. Oh, and I've done it again. Um, I ended up with the stuff in the wrong place because there's actually like two components to it and once I built it like slightly off center. And that's right. If you do this one, then it gives you the entire thing. So I mean, I guess I could, if I can get it to sit where this dude is. There we go. I think, I think that's right. And there we go. So this should be the entire excavator. Um, got my genius hammer and we'll just assume it's the redstone block. It's not, it's that bit. Cool. Diggy, diggy hole. And we might decorate this a little bit better. Um, I kind of actually want to get some of the asphalt that we've got. Probably still appearing in here. Like we've got 15,000 bitumen. So that's a bit of asphalt. I think it just kind of looks cool as for like making stuff in an industrial area. And yep, still don't have a roof. But we got this guy and apparently he uses 4,000 RF attack. So we kind of want to hook into our power system over there. Um, and I guess it's just a matter of digging across, because we've got this main line here. This is, oh, have I done this wrong? Because this should be inputs. I may have set these up on the output line. I did. I did. Uh... Yes, this should have been, oh, I've made a mistake, I've got to fix this. Yeah, these are like outputs to some machines, but spider. Technically that's, oh, it's kind of hooked up to both power generation and the other stuff. I guess that's fine. Yeah, actually I won't worry about it. I won't worry about it. Because kind of, it should use the power generated by the, the diesel generator almost first. Like just to supplement what our actual power generation, the canola stuff, is generating. So maybe that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. But yeah, we just want to run. I guess we run this all the way this way. Until we're like in line with the power here. I think it was. Yeah. Now let's dig a big hole. And he's now digging up ore. Which is kind of cold. Um, 
And it's, it, it seems kind of slow, but keep in mind this is just going to run non-stop. Uh, presuming we have enough... Well, Uh, presuming we have enough power in our system and transfer and we're not using too much because we're constantly running this guy. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not too sure actually. Come down here, we can see we are slowly losing power. So we don't quite have enough generation. Uh, probably want to bump these guys up actually. Yes, because we're transferring enough power. Like the, the cables are sending enough power out. We're just using too much in one go. So that's cool. We can probably... Like a thousand. These guys are keeping up at the moment. Might work on just... Uh, maybe it's not keeping up too well. Might just bump these guys up. Uh, just with some... Some more of these augments. We just needed some, some redstone alloy. Oh, and I need two... Before I forget, quickly hook this guy up to an ender chest, and I probably need to make an ender chest. And so this won't really be that organized at the moment. Look at that. And we could, of course, turn this thing off. He doesn't need to be running all the time. Um, but uh, this is just going to be handy, and we can move him around. Um, I. Went looking for other ores, like we got tin here, we actually get tin from that, so it'll be fine. This is like diamonds and whatever else comes out of rare earth. We got bauxite and maybe rutile and like iridium here too. Maybe. And lava, which we could dig up with a pump jack as well and perhaps run a lava generator. So yeah, let's uh, have a little bit of a play upgrading the power generation and see if it's enough to keep up. Uh, but maybe we just accept that we can't run the excavator 24-7. And actually decided to go with um, increased efficiency. Because I did notice we're starting to drain through the canola faster than we're producing it. Which, not an issue yet, but uh, all of these guys are empty. So eventually we're going to start running low on canola oil. So we got one to go here. And then we should have enough space to do that. So they're all producing 300. This guy's producing 1,200. So we did lose a little bit. Um, hopefully that increased efficiency is going to make up for it. Yeah, it's hard to know. These look like they might be going up. Maybe. Maybe we're doing all right now. Yeah, just over 2,000. I actually did upgrade these... Uh, Oh yeah, we got 2100 RF attack coming into the cell and it's all going out because we're using 4000. Right. And maybe our diesel generator isn't quite making enough to satisfy what we're trying to use. Like this guy's struggling a little bit. Yeah, so power is not quite up to running this guy full time. But look at that. Almost two stacks of iron and I didn't even have to go mining. So, we'll switch him off, and then let's get into some blood magic. Alright, so where we left off the other day was, we've got a bunch of, you can see them over here, uh, demon wills. Like a bunch. Uh, because we now have the sentient sword from blood magic, which we made with uh, fiery ingots, and it sort of came pre-enchanted with looting and mending, which is awesome. And now we can look at getting the Petty Tartaric Gem, which will store will. And the more will you store, the more damage this guy does. Um, and you use this for like crafting stuff, and certain stuff needs like a minimum amount of will. Like if we want to get into this, these things, which I don't know if we want to get into most of this stuff. Um, you need like a fully charged, almost fully charged Petty Tartaric Gem to upgrade it. So we'll probably work on upgrading as far as we can. But we'll uh, just follow the quests and see where we end up. So we have a Hellfire Forge, which needs a Demon Will. There goes a Hellfire Forge. I think, I mean, it would make sense for him to be over there, but I want him to be in range of our 
applied energetic system. I mean, I guess for now you go here. And then we're going to need some demon will. And so we'll put you in here. You'll be like used for the thing. And then, oh, that's, that's all we need. Then we just need these bits and pieces, which we're hoping we can. Oh, we can't shift click. And nice. A raw Tartaric gem. Now, as we drop Demon Well on the ground, now it gets absorbed into the sky. So, we probably want to keep a little bit of Demon Well just in case we need it, but for the most part, we just want to absorb it into our gem. But yeah, once we get enough Well on the sky, which I think was 60, which we, we've probably got enough actually if we just. 64, nice. Um, some of it got wasted because he was full, but now we can use this guy to make this thing. The next one, which we need a petty attack gem and we need the demon wells. We actually need to make two of them. That's right. Let me take this guy in here. We'll just get three of the basic ones and then we can kind of charge them all up and, and leapfrog to the next one because you both need a certain amount of will in here as well as a Petty Tartaric Gem to upgrade, which means for the next one, which can be used to upgrade to the, the common Tartaric Gem, he needs a lesser Tartaric Gem, as well as needing 240 well. So yeah, you kind of need two. And a Butte Slate, can we make that? Yes, I think we can. So it must be the greater Tartaric Gem. We can't make him yet, because we don't have these two things. But I'll get him up to the common Tartaric Gem. I'll just activate the creeper spawner. And uh, that'll definitely get us enough will. And our damage has gone up to 7 already. And we got ourselves Sentient Sword doing 11.5 damage with a fully filled Tartaric Gem. Common Tartaric Gem. Uh, but we also have Sharpness 4 and Life Leech on this guy now as well. And I was going to put on Breaking, but I ran out of levels. Um, just doing a little bit of enchanting books and then applying some stuff. Um, a couple of people have mentioned um, that there are three different types of sprinklers that will increase crop growth and that they might stack as well. So these all look very easy to make. Um, this needs to be placed over water, so I can probably go in the middle. I'm not sure how these things work. I don't know if they need water or not. But I was thinking about maybe doing it. Uh, maybe we don't need to now. Uh, just because some of these were getting pretty low on canola, but they all seem to be full now. So I think we're just keeping up. Okay, maybe it's not necessary yet, but we'll keep that in mind. Uh, especially if we start expanding our canola generation. Um, which will hopefully tide us over uh, until we can get into some nuclear craft. But, next quest, Binding Regent. Um, so we're doing that. That's going to let us make Bound Blades and... Somehow that gets us to a tier 4 blood altar, possibly with the demon crystals. Um, and then looks like we're getting an implosion compressor. Oh, which is required for getting that, so that's interesting. And then we're going to have to start doing these things. We'll start with the binding regent. And that's not too bad, really. Tar drops? I don't know if I have any of them. Um, I've definitely seen some tar around the place. Did I grab any? Nice. I guess we'll grab a couple. Tar drops, energetic alloy. We definitely have some of that. Okay, that's going to be pretty easy. Mana powder, I may not have that. We do, we got five. Maybe we'll settle for five of these things. And blood infused glowstone dust is just glowstone. And the blood altar. Uh, and it takes, uh, let's just do one at a time. And the last one of these. Nice. Um, and that was everything, right? Yeah. Okay. And we should have more than enough uh, demon will stored in this guy. So we're just going for four of each. And oh, did that have a thing that goes in the middle? Oh, wrong glowstone. <laughs> that would do it. Yeah, we're getting some binding regents. And so these are used for making like blood armor, which would be kind of cool. Um, 
These are interesting in that like the if you take heaps of damage, they'll start getting more armor, I think is how it works. And if you run heaps, you start running faster. Um, but we did spend all that time making this armor, so we'll hold off for now. Nice. But we probably want to make a bound blade. We need to make it to get the slates anyway. Need it for the tier 4 altar. Yes, yeah, so we need a bound blade. And it's just a binding regent and a diamond sword. Huh. Okay. Um, and this will probably also require us to have our blood orb on us. Uh, because it's going to drain our life network as we use it. Um, so we just need a diamond sword. It seems like it's just... Wait, what? Oh, we need the arcane ashes. Right. And looks like we craft that with the arcane workbench. Ash pile, crushed slate. Aquamarine dust, mana powder. And we should just be able to pop over. I've been here for a while uh, and craft one of these. And then this will be Arcane Ashes, Binding Regent, and throw a Diamond Sword on. Might have to right click the Diamond Sword on. Nice. And shift right click, killing the weak. And so this will use our blood orb. Um, and actually, so I think as he's active, it drains your life essence. Oh, that's not how you check. Um, and we can check that with the sigil. Divination sigil. Should we just need a blank slate? Oh, I don't actually have any on me. I'll make one lamp in between episodes. Cool, and then unfortunately we have mobs stuck up on our mob farm, as usual. I kind of need a... Oh. Just have it so when this guy's turned off, mobs can't spawn. Get some creepers gone, and then we kill them with this. Should start getting blood shards occasionally. How much damage does this do? Nine. That's pretty good. Activated. Is it just a really low chance or something? Drop from mobs slain by a bound blade. This is a bound blade. Uh, I guess we just have to kill a bunch. I figured out the problem. <laughs> they were dropping them. I just didn't see it. Cool. Oh, this is. This is a bit of a mess in here. But cool, we got that quest. Needed for the tearful blood altar. So blank runes, I think we already have the blank runes for tier four, which was this layer. Um, but I guess we need to grab them for the quest. And then with our demon wheels, we can get some bloodstone tiles. Which become the bloodstone bricks we need. Um, could be kind of cool as a decoration, and they're also used for like blood tanks. I've never actually used a blood tank. Hmm. So, and then we just need to get ourselves a demonic slate, which is just the tier four altar with an imbued one, and we do have imbued. Imbued. I guess we'll make one of them. Um. I just have to reassemble this. Where's my building gadget? And then the blood bricks go on the top here. Actually, I could have used my exchanging gadget. But it seems a little bit unnecessary. Blood bricks. Oh, it's going to be a pain to, to get up there. Huh, I'm confused as to why that didn't get extracted. No, I'm not, because we don't have enough room. So there is the quest for the tier 4 blood altar. I 
reckon this gets used for like acceleration runes, cool, augmented capacity, so that means it'll store more charging rune, I don't know what that is. Ritual stuff. Vampire ring, that's kind of cool. Block of slates, uh, cool. And then the next one is the ethereal one, which may or may not actually be used for anything. Looks like it's Elven Gateway. Ooh, cool, cool. So we've got that. And that's that's pretty sweet. Um so it looks like we're going to need the implosion compressor. Why? Just curious. Elemental inscription tool. Block of biotite. We can only get with Biotite and an Implosion Compressor. Hey, lucky we got a Creeper Farm. <laughs> nice. Oh, you can make TNT arrows. It's probably going to do it for this episode, and then next time we'll come back and uh, maybe we'll go the Astral Sorcery route, and I'll finally get attuned, and then we'll. Oh, we can probably make that now. Um, and yeah, we'll work towards Terra Steel. <laughs>